do you see a black male trying to behave like a white guy to get with or deal with a white woman? It's ludicrous. In fact, we often hear, once you go black, you don't go back. So let's talk about what this dumb dingbat broad wrote. Let's talk about the black guys who act white to be with white women. Hold up. Hey, I'm a... now this is crazy because check this out. The appearance of black women who aren't even with white guys. They're trying to look like white women. They ain't even with white dudes, but they're still trying to look like white women. And in many cases, they try to behave like white women. That's why I said the psychology, how a black woman behaves for a white man. Now, they can only keep it up so long before that bad attitude comes out. They can only keep it up so long before their lack of house training surfaces. You see, you can only fake it for so long. So check this out. Take a look at this. They said, Black men acting white to be with white women. No, nah, I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Because often when I see black men with white women, when we're talking about everyday people, we're not talking about celebrities and athletes. We're talking about everyday people because that's most people, all right? So if we take a everyday people and you look at the average interracial couple, you got a black dude who looks plenty gutter. You hear me? He tied it up, looked like a drill rapper. Look like a drill rapper, talk like a drill rapper. You can't understand a damn thing he's saying. He mumbling. So he doesn't have the tonation of a white man. He doesn't have the English skills of a white man. And even if he did, he damn sure ain't trying to use them. Tatted up, looking like he about to drop a mixtape. Chains on, Jordans, all that other stuff. And the white girl who's with that guy, the average black guy, usually she's either playing her part. She's like, hey, my name is Caitlin. And she looks and behaves like Caitlyn. She's just a white girl being a white girl. Or you got them gutter raggedy white hoes that want to wear some patent leather Jordans. You heard me? She wearing J's. Those are the ones I like to stay away. That's just me, though. Yeah, she's trying to emulate the black woman because she's trying to take the black man. Or she actually grew up in the gutter. She's being herself. This is the culture she grew up in. She's being herself. But never in life. When you're looking at everyday black folks, do you see a black male trying to behave like a white guy to get with or deal with a white woman? It's ludicrous. In fact, we often hear, once you go black, you don't go back. Where does that phrase come from? Does that come from black women being desirable? Hell nah. That comes from black men being desirable. Huh? So don't be foolish. It sounds stupid. You're making up things to make yourself feel better. Now, are there black men who prefer white women? Yeah, that these guys are probably messed up in the head. You might take example, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. Look at Tiger. He loves them white girls. Now, shout out to Tiger, because when he get his white girls, he's skimming off the top. You heard me? The boy taking the cream of the white girl crop. Shout out to Tiger. Hey, block this dumb, because this dumb. Wait, hold on. Dumb. Do you want to come on screen or are you just going to keep on babbling your broke ass lips? I will give you a chance to come on screen before we block your raggedy ass. Now, shout out to Tiger Woods because the ball getting high quality white woman. You did. I know the white balls hate Tiger. I mean, goddamn, this ball getting them Norwegian Swedish models. <laughs> you hear me? And just piping them down with that black athletic D. You hear me? But here's the thing. Tiger is a golfer. Golf is a white sport. Can we live in reality real quick? Golf, hockey, those are white sports. Oh, and by the way, wealth in general lands you among a lot of, here we go, white people. Okay? Yeah. Wealth lands you among a lot of white people. Lots of typos in all of her messages. Okay, yeah, get that out of here. Uh, block that raggedy ass food stamp having ass, EBT spinning ass, wig, this go to sleep in wigs this do, are you supposed to wear wigs to sleep be waking anyways carrying on back to tiger he's a wealthy man so by mere result of wealth it puts you in environments where there is a lack of black people in general and if you do see them they're usually oh hey sir opening the door when you come in or they're cleaning up 
on the custodial side of things. No disrespect to black people. I just remember when I was walking into my office in Chicago, there was a janitor there who had came to talk to me one day when I was leaving out and told me, young brother, young Pharaoh, you are the only one who has an office in this high rise. I'm proud every time I see you. Which is to say, if the goddamn janitor had to pull me to the side to give me an inspirational message, as though I'm the black messiah, it's because there ain't many of us. No, not in them high rises. There's not many of us. So how did you expect Tiger Woods to date black women? There's not many around. He's wealthy. And black people are broke. That's just the reality of things. Now, granted, now, granted, I don't think he really check it for black chicks like that. I don't think he is. And with the attitudes of some of them, I can't blame them. I can't blame them. Personally, I love black chicks, but you got to have natural hair. To my black women, I love you. I need you with natural hair. I want, it's not like I'll deny you. You hear me? If you got a good attitude, I'll take you with the wig. I'll take you with the perm. But I prefer you with natural hair. Love yourself. I love you. Love yourself. God damn it. Carrying on. Oh, yeah. So here's the funny thing. Being that the male is always the leader in the dynamic, when you observe a black man, white woman relationship, the black guy's still being black. You heard me? He's still speaking in slang. He's saying shit to the little white chick, confusing the shit out of her. Eventually, her white ass going to catch on. You heard me? Yeah, he's still doing what he do. But when you see the, the black woman with the white guy, oh, Lord, she didn't did the most miraculous change up. This brought them went Stacy Dash. You look like I could have sworn you was from Compton. You talking like you're from the hills of Beverly. Oh, they pull a tremendous change up. Oh, yeah. So, no, we're not talking about the same phenomena. Now, this is not unique to the black woman. Women in general, you're the follower. The man's the leader. You're the follower. So at some level, yes, you're malleable. Of course, you want to please your man. But the challenge with the black female is that she's using her imagination to guess at what a man wants. And subconsciously, the black female, when she deals with a guy who's not black, oh, she gets the most feminine little thing. She don't get a normal, self-respecting white guy. She don't get a white guy that's a normal dude that a white dude in Kentucky or Texas will respect. No, no, no. She get the scrawniest, weakest, weirdest, wealthy white guy that she can possibly find to dominate and fleece for his motherfucking money. Huh? Because that's what it's about. The motherfucking money. Which is why when you hear uh, the ironic insult from black women, like, y'all dusty, y'all broke. Well, that's funny because you're broke. <laughs> like, how the fuck, what the fuck are we doing here? You got a broke calling dudes broke? Like, you broke. And it's amazing that you broke because you got something in between your legs that can make you a fortune without you having any skills. So how you broke calling me broke like I'm a jerk. I'm broke and I'm trying to earn something. You broke and you sitting yet on a goddamn gold mine. Come on now, you lazy hoe. Carrying on. I mean, these hoes is on here doing tricks on TikTok, you know, twerking for the free. They ain't even making no money off of their hoe behavior nowadays. True comedy.